When you open a Russian doll, there's another doll inside, and inside that, there's another one, and so it goes on. There are many designs. Working backwards from the smallest one, we could write down doll, which is Russian, and inside another doll, which is also Russian, which is inside another doll, which is also Russian, and so it goes on again. So the Russian doll model could look like this, if it was written down. This is known as nesting, one inside the others. Now at some point the nesting stops and the dolls have to be put into a box for shipping. We can add box to our description or model. Six of these boxes go into a layer and two layers are placed on each wooden pallet and 500 pallets go into one shipping container and again, so it goes on. When we type in English, in the same way as I'm doing here for this video, we do not write in large blocks of letters. This will be difficult to read. We add spaces to form words and group words into sentences. The sentences are then grouped into paragraphs. Groups of paragraphs could have headings and these with their paragraphs could be grouped into chapters. Collections of chapters could be referenced by a table of contents or index and wrap this in a cover to form a book. We could have shelves of books in a bookcase and many bookcases in a library. We could describe the library in our model as library, bookcases, shelves with books. And again, that could go on. In this model, library, bookcase, shelf and book are all called objects. So we could call this a lob, a library object model. Our Russian doll model could therefore be called RIDM, the Russian doll object model. Armed with this information, you can now look at HTML in a different way. As HTML describes documents, you will be developing a document object model or DOM. Break page A.html and page B.html down into two DOMs to earn a badge.